What's up everyone? It's Diesel306 and today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite site setups. Our first site is going to be Top Floor in Cafe A. And I'm going to go Valk. I don't use Valk very often, but this top one, it's usually an automatic pick for me if she's available. So with Valk, my first game I'll come over here, this cabinet right here. I bust out this left door. And I get that camera in there. And then we go in here. I try to get it behind this grandfather clock in the corner as far as possible. Yeah. And this last one's gonna be over here on white stairs. It's kind of tricky, so might not get it the first try. All right, there we go. So this one, you can see, the only way they're gonna shoot this is if they get right here and they know it's there. Ten seconds. All right, this one here in Christmas is a little bit easier to detect. It's probably the most common one to shoot. Especially if they know where it's at, you can get to it pretty easily. Now you would think the most common one would be this one. Because it's pretty obvious, right? Especially with that cabinet being, you know, knocked out. You would think they would look at least. But that is probably the least likely one to get shot for me. I don't know why, they just never shoot it. Uh, I also, of course, reinforce this wall. I have them uh, put a rotate right next to it. And then I'll put head holes. You can get a sight line onto skylight, and then you can also get a cigar from there. I also put the holes in this cocktail bar right here, like top white. Now these cams, white. You have you can do sound calls from wallboard, bathroom, hall, and bottom white, and then you can also see them come up. The one in Christmas. You can see Cigar Lounge, you can see Top Red Wall, you can see Mini Bar, all the windows. So you get a lot of calls from in here. And this one, of course, you got Top Red Drop and the New Hatch Drop. And then you can also see if they're pushing in to try for a plant or anything near a pillar or anything like that. Alright, so for our next map, we're going to go to Villa. I actually have two on this map, uh, so I'll show you both. The first one's going to be Aviator Game, since that's the common first pick for Defenders. I'm going to go Mute. Okay, so Mute, I always get Vault Wall. Put a gem in here. It stops breaching the wall, and you get the drone hole there. And I'll go in here. One for this door. And I usually do footholds right here. Do the rotate. And then I'll put a mute gem on each of these doors. I also like to put a vault right here. And then I will also shoot out the floor. Right here because then that gives you sight on if they're going to go up main stairs like that. I usually watch this in the beginning. Make sure they're not going to bust open main door or pottery window and try to rush up main. And then I'll play behind the bar. Then you have, if they're gonna come books, you got this right here. So you can watch maps door here. And this also gives you, if they're trying to plant behind vault door, this also gives you the C4 lineup. That you can stop the plant. Yeah, that definitely should get them right there. All right, the next side on Villa is gonna be trophy statuary. And this one, I go as zombie. Alright, so with the zombie, I will make rotate hole here, of course. I like to put a hole in this cabinet, or trophy display. Because this gives you angle into 90 hall, and also if they jump into the window. Because it's kind of a hard angle to fight against, especially if they don't expect it. Also, break out a hole in this. Oh, and you got bedroom door right here. Okay, one of the zombies I put 
you see this little mark right here I usually put it right on that so that just gives you safe safe rotation right here from bedroom door and you also have this angle behind the bomb so you have this little peak right here and then in here to avoid getting shot from 90 door I put a zombie here and then in here I will put one on the desk so this allows me to play here, don't have to worry about 90 door. I can fight bathroom from multiple different angles and astro stairs. You can also set up here and play. Uh, your top of your head's exposed a little bit, but it still allows you to play right here. Those are the main three barriers. The other two, I will usually put one right here. That way they can't run Ab Astro and just peek the desk from uh, the railing right there. And then the last one I'll usually keep. If they end up getting wall, I'll try to put one on one of the doors. Or if they get wall over here, I'll just put another one right here. Alright, our next map is going to be theme park. And I only have one on this one. Uh, it's going to be for a top floor office. I'm going to go mute. Alright, so in here, I will reinforce this wall. I make head holes right here. Put you a mute jammer here. So this allows you to fight hatch drop and then top dragon door. And then if they, for some reason, swing in this window. Doesn't happen very often. Of course, those walls will be reinforced. Mute jammer on this door. I like shooting holes right here, just because if they, for some reason, go this hall, you have an angle on it, and you can also watch bathroom door from here. But it also gives you an angle here, because they, they can't see your body when you sit like this, just your head. So here, and then it also gives you, you can go back and forth. And then over here, put another jammer. Usually a rotate right here. Reinforce, reinforce. Vault wall, really up to you. You can reinforce it or make a rotate. And then just a jammer on. Bathroom door. And usually I will play over in B. And I'll hold this angle first. Watch for the hatch drop or if they come up dragon. I'll watch this and if they're starting to push vending or bathroom then i'll come over here and watch these angles all right our next map is going to be chalet and we're going to go castle on the top floor okay so castle top floor i usually make the rotate and then i like to make head holes right here and go all the way across you don't have to Make a rotate in the closet. Okay, this closet gives you an angle to balcony door. Uh, I put my bulletproof cam here. If you don't want to go bulletproof, you can go the box alarms. And I usually put one here. And one back here. I really throw it right... Wrong button. I usually throw it. Wrong button. Up there. <laughs> I'll eventually get there. Okay, castle barricades. I go this back door as long as they're not playing solar. Oh, I forgot to mention. I'll reinforce this wall and then do a small vault rotate right here. Oh, wait, you can watch bathroom window and if they go solar this way because the castle will usually tend to push them this way and watch those two you can vault if you need to I also put a head hold here because that gives you piano window and then if they push into piano so castle barricades we have back there of course a double window balcony door
and piano window. And I usually like to play closet area. And all of these will be in re reinforced along with all the main walls. Now this one you either can do foot holes or head holes right there. But here I'll I'll usually hold balk door if they go for it. And then if someone's on double window I can watch it here. Go between the two. If they're pushing piano, have all of this. And you have these three angles. And then also, if they get wall and they're pushing wall, you have this longer angle here. You can also get access to piano. And then the bulletproof cam, you have all the piano. You know when they're going to be in the hall, when they're going to try to push in, you got that window. You got, if they got in bathroom somehow and they're getting over here. Alright, the last two I have are the same op. They're both going to be a Rooney. Uh, one's going to be on basement here on Oregon, and then the other one will be on basement on club. Alright, so the Rooney gates. I go E-box door. Pillar door. And then laundry door. Bulletproof. I sit on these old pipes whatever they are right here and then I'll make head holes right here going in the freezer and reinforce this side now of course we'll have hatches reinforced rotate on that wall uh, you can do head holes on a closet wall if you want then of course all these depending on how they're wanting to play blue. But I usually play freezer. I usually play top freezer stairs in the beginning. See if they're gonna go Z or wait for them to push from showers. And then once they're starting to push, if I can't get a pick, I'll push farther back. And I can play from here. You can also get up here and get an angle on the stairs. And then these head holes allows you to play laundry door. They're inside, rotate. And then here you got pillar, back stairs access. They're going for the normal plant or if they're just coming in, e-box door. And then you have access to elbow if they are playing elbow or if they got in the wall open. And then these Aruni gates are here to slow them down, and then you kind of figure out how they're going to push. If they're going to push pillar, or if they're going to try to push it in plant, or if they're going to push laundry. You can also hit these out a little bit more and make this a vault rotate as well as head holes. That way, they're holding freezer door from pillar pretty hard, and then you can just jump out here and get them. All right, for the last one I got for y'all today, uh, we're gonna take a Rooney down to basement in clubhouse. Okay, so down here, I like to get a rotate into blue. Okay, and then I'll hit this chair. I believe this chair. You can do both if you want. And I'll show you why that's important later. Okay, put one. Moto door, of course, get your sight line over here for the kitchen drop. Make this a vault. Okay, I like to put another gate on main stairs. You can also put a couple head holes. Way you can rotate from moto if they're trying to plant behind shelves. Or if you're in B, you can try to get them going into Moto. Okay, last skate's gonna be blue. And then our bulletproof, you can go over here. Set it here. That prevents you, prevents it from getting shot and you got kitchen hatch 
dirt door and you can see if they're going for the plan at all so it makes them to where they have to jump up here and either melee it or they have to use an explosive on it okay now over here in a this is usually where i play so i have to rotate into blue and knock those out so what i do is i go over here hit holes in this cabinet Now you have a prone angle into blue. That way if they drop oil pit or if they go closet and they're pushing blue fast, you can get them before they get to the door to the rotate. And if you get one with the prone, you can go up to the crouch. Also play here if they're pushing in moto, if you have to. These are going to be reinforced. I usually reinforce that one wall. And of course dirt, hatches. But yeah, that's the last one I have for y'all today. Uh, these are just some of the ones that I like to play. Uh, I'm not saying these are like the default you should go to or these are the best setups. Uh, it's just ones that when we go to these sites, I usually tend to drift towards these operators to choose them and set up like this. It's just worked for me. It works for me whether I'm solo queuing or if I'm in a full stack. So if y'all want, try them out. Let me know how it does. Tell me if there's improvements I can make on them, or let me know if y'all learned anything new. Alright, with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next one. I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, let me know down in the comments what y'all's favorite setups are.